I've created a couple sockets on the tripod table leg or post and I've also created the dovetail on one of these roughed out cabriole legs. Let me just see if I can knock this out give you a better look at that. Slide it out. You can see here the the dovetail on both the socket and the tenon on this roughed out leg. So I'm getting ready to do the second leg to fit in this socket. And I'll show you how I create the joint, the tenon dovetail on the leg. Um, of course, you must, you might wonder why I roughed this out this way. I've bandsawed, I have a big one inch bandsaw blade and, and so I just roughed out. Later on I'll come in here with a finer blade and, and then with files clean up the, the, the real shape. But I wanted, I made sure that I bandsawed the uh, the face that actually uh, butts up against the tripod table post. And that's what I'm getting ready to do here on the second leg and I'm using the template to uh, mark out the shape on this blank board. Now I'll go over to the bandsaw. I've, I've already traced over the shape. I'll go over to the bandsaw. Cut right on this face here, which is the, the part that has the dovetail in it. And I've cut out uh, the bottom of the foot, but the rest of it I've just roughed out on the bandsaw.
I'm getting ready, ready to make the dovetail connection on this roughed out cabriole leg. This is the end where the dovetail and this face, flat face here, matches up with, with the flat face on the post. So there'll be a dovetail tenon in the middle of this face. After it was bandsawed, I used the block plane to clean this up, flatten it up, and get the ripples out of it so it will be in good shape to match up with the, with the post. So I want a dovetail now. that is 9 sixteenths inch wide on this face. By the way, the thickness here is one and three quarters inches. That, the, the design thickness is one and five eighths, so I'm one eighth heavy. I want to make sure that it is a little bit fat so that I can adjust it to match up with the with a flat part of on the post. So this marking out has to be done very carefully. So I'm locating the center and then 930 seconds in that direction and 930 seconds in that direction and so that should be 9 sixteenths, and it is. And I can use the square. Maybe it'd be better if I... And I know you can't see that. But I'm just coming down with a pencil here. And that should be a 9 sixteenths width. It is. That's good. So what I will do is Replace those pencil lines. I'll use a knife to cut down it so that I've got a, a groove, a knife cut to use with the, with the saw. There's that one. That looks good. Okay, so the dovetail is marked out, and so it needs to go, the dovetail needs to go back 9 sixteenths in, in depth. So I notice I should flatten this as well. This surface, this is a band solid surface and a little bit rough so a little bit of hand planing will give a nice flat surface up here. Marking gauge. I I all want it set at nine sixteenths, and that looks good. So I'll use 
that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now I also need a cut mark here at 9 16 I can't use this marking gauge, but I can use this other marking gauge for that position. Okay, so we've got that marked out pretty well. Um, I want the shape, I want to see the shape of the dovetail here. So I have my width of 9 sixteenths there. Now the throat of the dovetail is at 3 eighths. So I want to mark out the, that 3 eighths. So that's 3 sixteenths from the center. One, two, three sixteenths from the center. So that means a dovetail that looks like this. That looks good. Now I want that knife cut in that as well. Also down here. So there's my center. One, two, three. One, two, three sixteenths. So this should be like this. And like that. Get a score line in there. Okay, so the dovetail is is marked out, and the next step will be to saw this this angle cut, and then I need to saw also uh, on these sides here. To help align the manual sawing process here, what helps is to create 
some little grooves that the saw blade can follow. So I'm just using the chisel to cut into the the cut line with the that I made with the knife and try to take a little chip out of here that leaves a groove to help align the saw. This is in grain, so really the chisel needs to be sharp to make these little channels. That ought to be, that ought to work. Now let me do the other side. That's pretty good. Alright, so I'm ready to put the handsaw to that and cut down to the depth of the dovetail. I'll be using this Japanese handsaw to cut down here on the face of the dovetails. And on this type of saw, there's the small teeth for cross cut and then the long teeth for cutting along the grain. I'll start out with the short teeth and then switch uh, after I feel like I've got a good position and groove going. I'll turn it over and use the, the long grain teeth. So what I do is get a little groove started all the way across, if possible, yes. And I'm, I want to have it approximately at the angle of the dovetail. That angle is probably about 9 or 10 degrees. I forget exactly which. That looks good, so I'm going to switch to the long grain. 
Now I'm going to come down. I'm following the. the line that I made on the end here. Then coming back across and normally I would turn this around and work it from the other end, but I think I'm just going to go right on through. take much. I don't want to go too far, I don't want to go too deep, but I do want to be down to the to the line that I made. The box. Okay, that takes care of one face. Let's start the other face. Get the groove started with the smaller crosscut teeth, and then switch to the long grain. And again, I'm going to try to follow on down at the angle. See on this end. Cut a little bit shallower than I should have. But I'm going to clean this up with with uh, chisels later to to fit into the socket in the leg. Now I'm just trying to make sure I'm following down that end at the right angle. Also I'm a little bit shallow, that's alright. And I'm already, I think, down to the bottom. So, those are the first two cuts. Now i got to get ready for the cuts that are uh, into the side here. Now I'm getting ready to cut the shoulders on the cabriole leg. I've got it held down with a hold fast. You can see it here, flat on the surface. And the line that is ready to be sawn, although I need to create the little channel that helps guide the, the saw. Just take out a little chip here. Now I've got a V-channel here that the, the saw will sit into. And this is cross-cut, so I'll use the small teeth on the Japanese style saw. And I'll try to start it this is nine sixteenths back from the face. That's the depth of the the dovetail. This is nine sixteenths from nine sixteenths inch depth socket. So, ready to start this cut. Um, and to get that started all the way across takes a little patience here. And once it's across, then I'm in good shape. I'm going to come down at an angle here and on 
on a line that I can see on the end here. And then come back. Across. And then follow the the line on this end straight down. Sometimes I turn this over and work from the other side. That would be better. I think I'm okay. I'll come down a little bit further here. deep. I want to just knock that, that waste block out of there. Testing to see if it's where it's where I am. It's not loose yet. Now it's, now it's starting to act. Like it's going to fall away. Yes. Now I can clean that up with a chisel. The other shoulder on the other side. I can see that I'm going to have some waste here that's going to have to come out. And I'll work that, I'll work that later with the chisel. Getting ready to cut the opposite shoulder. Already knocked out the shoulder on that, on the bottom face. Now this has got to come out, and again, we need a little bit of help with the saw by creating a little groove here. Take a little chip out. And with the small teeth, the cross-cut teeth on the Japanese saw, I'll start against that groove and try to come all the way across. If I am pretty close, that's not very loose yet. Probably in the middle where I'm fat. Yeah. 
Let's see if that'll fall out of there now. Yes. And I can just quickly come down here. And this will need to be... I'm sure this isn't going to fit right off the bat in the socket and it will need some work with chisels to tear it down for fitting. So this is going to go this is going to go in this socket and I will start to pare that down. I can see that I'm off the line here and fat. That will be the first place I'll start paring down to, to fit into the socket. One, one of the critical things about this dovetail joint and this is the socket in the uh, bottom part of the post and the issue is how do you ensure that the depth of the channel here is 9 sixteenths inches because the length of the tenon on the leg that's 9 sixteenths inch and so that we need to make sure that throughout the length of this channel we have 9 sixteenths inch depth. One way to help achieve that consistent depth <coughs> is with a small router plane which you see here and I've set this depth to 9 16 inch and I can run that along this flat and then be assured that I've got and I can see I'm taking off quite a bit here because it was not at the appropriate depth it, it, it's easy to just measure that with this, but it's easier to achieve what you really need is a flat flat base there that is consistently 9 sixteenths <coughs> along the full length. And boy, that makes it that makes it uh, for sure. Now I'm going to do that in the other groove as well. This one's better. side that it was a little bit shallow. Okay. So that's a really important tool and I can see where I need to come down make sure that there's no extra material sitting down there in the bottom of the groove. Let me see about this side. That 
seems to be better. Okay. Now, let's see how this See if this comes close to well that's number one. I know that one already works. Let's I number these because they're going to be unique. See if this is ready to go or not, or I have to shave it some more. Boy, that's close. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to shave the sides of this dovetail just a little bit. And it should fit quite well. And the way I do that shaving, didn't take much off at all. So I doubt if I've done enough. Oops, what am I doing? Here we go. Now it's going in a little bit. Let me just mark that and work it back. It'll take a few iterations to get that to, to fit. 